coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good evening. It's been another day with a lot of sunshine across the Wabash Valley, but now we're tracking a broken line of some showers and every once in a while a few rumbles of thunder. We look at that activity now on the Storm Team 10 storm tracker. Not everyone getting in on the rain, but if you get under one of these thunderstorms or showers, you can get a quick downpour. We picked up a quick tenth of an inch here in Terre Haute. Now the activity is to the south of town, just along the Interstate 70 area and just to the south. You can see that extending down through the Riley area into southern portions of Clay County and over here into southern Owen County as well. And right here along the Edgar Clark County line and the further over to the West, another little spotty shower up here between Charleston and Oakland over there in Coles County. This is all along a weak little front that's going to continue to work its way to the south. As you can zoom out, and you can kind of see where that boundary is. It's just sweeping across the Wabash Valley now. It's going to continue to sag its way down to the south and behind it. You notice there's not a whole lot happening back here, so there's still a mostly clear sky taking place. So we're going to the night. Most of the night's going to be dry. Just have that chance of rain as we head through the rest of the evening. So if you've already seen the rain, probably won't see any more for the rest of the night. But if you're down here into Robinson, Olney, Vincennes, Lawrenceville, you could see some of these showers yet this evening. Now what's going to come behind this little line of some showers is going to be some even lower humidity. As look at our dew point tractor today, we had dew points in the 60s, so still a little bit of moisture in the air. But by tomorrow, those numbers are going to be down in the 50s. So tomorrow going to be feeling even more comfortable. We see our dew points rise as we get into the middle part of the weekend. Saturday night, we have our next chance of rain. So that's why the dew points will be a little higher then, but then the dew points will drop again as we head into next week. So looking at the weekend forecast tomorrow, going to be a little bit cooler than it was today. I have 81 degrees a mostly sunny sky and as we get into Saturday, a very similar day, just a touch warmer as we get into the day on Sunday. Most of the daytime should be dry for all three of these days. Again, that chance of rain is going to slide in here during the overnight hours on Saturday. So looking at Futurecast, it's doing a good job of showing that broken line of showers and a few thunderstorms that's going to continue to sag its way down to the south. So by 8 o'clock, you can still see it impacting southern parts of the News 10 viewing area. But by 11 o'clock, Futurecast has us drying out. The sky is going to clear. You'll be able to see the full sturgeon moon tonight. So that'll be a sight you can see in the sky. And going through the rest of the overnight hours, we'll keep that sky mostly clear. A breeze coming out of the north. It's going to set us up for a lot of sunshine as we get into our day on Friday. And we'll keep this going. A few more clouds could drift in here as we get into into Friday afternoon, but really still sunshine going to be the rule of the day and more pleasant temperatures. That's going to take us right into the weekend. Here's Saturday morning at 8, still looking at lots of sunshine, and that's going to take us over the course of our weekend. So another great stretch of weather shaping up for us here in the Wabash Valley. Looking at the pollen forecast, it is going to remain in the medium category all the way through the weekend and into the first part of next week, still because of the grass pollens. So tonight, 57 degrees, mostly clear under that full moon. Those spotty showers coming to an end over the next couple hours. North northeast breeze at about five to seven miles per hour. Then for tomorrow, 81 degrees, so a cooler and less humid day. Still lots of sunshine with that breeze still out of the north northwest. And as we get into tomorrow night, another cool night with dropping into the upper 50s under a partly cloudy sky. The wind will become calm. And looking at the next seven days, again, some scattered showers possible Saturday night, maybe into the very first part of Sunday. Then the sky will clear out, giving us lots of sunshine headed into next week with highs in the lower to middle 80s.